Let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted something so badly, like a dream job, your soulmate, or financial freedom, that it literally consumed your every thought? You tried all the law of attraction techniques, visualizing it, saying affirmations, taking inspired action. Yet, despite your best efforts, it felt increasingly out of reach, almost like a cosmic tease. Maybe you've experienced going on interview after interview for your dream role, only to be met with rejection, or missed connections with someone who seemed like the one, or you've worked yourself to the bone trying to manifest money, but your bank account just won't budge. The harder you grasped for what you wanted, the more it slipped through your fingers, leaving you feeling frustrated, discouraged, and wondering if this law of attraction stuff is even legit. Trust me, I've so been there. But what if I told you that the key to finally allowing your desires to manifest wasn't about more striving, but actually letting go? From the time we were little kids, we were taught that the way to get what we want is through tireless effort and sheer determination. Think about it. We learned that you have to study hard to get good grades, practice diligently to make the team, and outwork the competition to land your dream job. The underlying message was that our desires are rewards we have to earn through blood, sweat and tears. No pain, no gain, right? If we just try hard enough and never quit, eventually we'll overcome all the obstacles and achieve our biggest goals. Well, I bought into that philosophy hard for many years. I was always that kid, you know, the overachiever who juggled a million extracurriculars, pulled away too many all-nighters, and stretched myself to the absolute max, all in pursuit of checking those boxes of success. And you know what? It sort of worked, at least on the surface. I got into a great college, landed a corporate job right out of school, started earning a good paycheck. From the outside, it looked like I had it all figured out. But on the inside, I was a hot mess of anxiety, self-doubt, and persistent feelings of, is this all there is? No matter what I achieved, I never felt fully satisfied, content, or at peace. I always needed the next thing to go after to feel worthy and good enough. Can you relate to that relentless drive and striving, yet still feeling like something is missing on a deeper level? Maybe you can put on a good show at work or with your friends and family, but deep down, you're exhausted from the constant effort of making things happen through sheer force of will. Well, here's the tough truth I've come to realize. That paradigm of forcing, striving, and white-knuckling your way to success is exactly what blocks you from manifesting your true desires consistently. You see, the universe doesn't actually respond to our bold efforts, our vision boards, or our unrelenting grind. Those are just physical level actions that mean very little in the higher realms. What the universe responds to is our dominant energetic vibration, frequency, and beliefs in the present moment. It's a pure vibrational universe that matches our ambient vibration with its manifestations, not our individual efforts alone. So when we're in that space of striving, anxiety, and feeling like we desperately need something to fill a void within us. We're vibrating at a frequency of lack, scarcity, and insufficiency. We're telling the universe, I don't have what I want yet, but I really need to get it. And because the universe simply reflects back our entrenched vibration, it has no choice but to keep mirroring back experiences of lack, roadblocks, and not having what we want. Like a boomerang, our focused energy of not having and striving just bounces right back to us as more of the same frustrating experiences. So if striving, forcing, and intense attachment to getting what we want isn't the answer or tears, well, it's letting go. And I know that probably sounds confusing, maybe even a bit lazy or defeatist. But stick with me here because this letting go process is deeply powerful and counterintuitive to how we've been conditioned. It's about releasing the desperate need or attachment to having any one specific person, opportunity or circumstance, the rigid timelines of when and how it should happen, the doubts, fears 
and limiting beliefs around being able to receive it. When we can let go of those clingy, resistant energies, we create an open space to attract what we desire. It's like untying an incredibly taut knot. Once the tension is released, everything can flow freely. Now letting go doesn't mean being lazy or disconnected. It means getting into an energy of knowing that what you want is already yours. It's understanding that you're the producer of your reality, not just a bestander going after things. From this place of surrender, you stop anxiously asking the universe, when will I get what I want? And start knowingly telling it, everything I want is already mine. Show me where I'm holding it back within myself. It's the shift from please universe, give me this, to thank you universe for this already being done. Letting go is an act of supreme faith and stepping into your power. To let go is to stop incessantly focusing on and ardently chasing any one particular person or circumstance as the answer to your happiness. It's removing all conditions by realizing your worthiness is inherent, not premised upon obtaining anything external. When you let go of forcing, you let yourself receive. You stop obstructing the very thing you say you want with your vibration of lack around it. You remove yourself as the blockage. So how do you start practicing this level of surrender? It begins with relaxing, getting into a state of non-resistance, and reprogramming your unconscious beliefs. Okay, so the idea of letting go sounds nice in theory, but how do you actually implement it? How do you change long-held patterns of striving, doubting, and attaching your worth to outcomes. It takes being very purposeful and consistent with your energy and focus. But don't worry, I've got some practical tips that can help. Get into a practice of genuine gratitude for what's already present in your life. When you appreciate where you are, you remove desperation and excessive wanting. You align with the vibration of having received already being abundant. Spend time each day visualizing and feeling what it's already like to have your desire without needing it. Get into that visceral state and energy of it being your current reality, not something you'll maybe get in the future. Surrender control of the hows and trust that the universe will orchestrate the right people, circumstances and opportunities for your desire in the perfect way. Your work is just to let go and allow the form it takes to be divinely inspired. When you catch yourself stuck in a vibration of doubt, fear or impatience, consciously shift your energy. Distract yourself with something fun that gets you into a better feeling place. Dance it out, go for a walk, watch something hilarious, whatever lifts your mood in the moment. Use affirmations and other repatterning techniques to reprogram your limiting beliefs and stories about receiving what you want. Our beliefs create our reality, so this inner work is crucial for letting go. The more you get skilled at these practices, the more you'll notice yourself naturally operating from that surrendered, go with the flow state. You'll be getting into energetic and emotional alignment with your desires, rather than blocking them. From there, the universe can deliver your callings in the highest form possible, often in surprising ways you could have never planned out. But you have to first let go of how you think it's supposed to come to allow for something better. The path of letting go and trusting is seldom logical or linear. In fact, it's often divinely chaotic, with things showing up out of nowhere when you're completely unattached to them. That's how you'll know it's real destiny bringing you what you want, rather than just your limited self making it happen. I know this letting go concept can sound a bit counterintuitive and challenging at first. It goes against much of what we've been taught about achievement through sheer effort and willpower. But I encourage you to experiment with this surrendered approach yourself. When you can release your tight grip of control, attachment to specifics, and energies of lack or desperation, You'll be amazed at how smoothly and spontaneously desires can manifest. It may feel uncertain initially, but trust that the more you let go, the more you'll experience synchronicities and aligned opportunities presenting themselves. You'll realize you were your own biggest blockage before. 
Start small if needed by letting go of minor desires first. Build your trust in the process through the little wins that arise. Letting go is ultimately liberating you from patterns of striving and strain. If this message resonates, give this video a like and share it with anyone else who could use this perspective. Subscribe and hit the bell to keep receiving more manifesting insights. Thanks so much for joining me today. Until next time, let go and allow the magic to flow.